It's time, boys. Okay. Since I'm a warrior player, let's start off with warrior, yeah? However, we're gonna, we're gonna start off with Fury. So, Fury Warrior is going back to the Season 2 set. I actually really like Season 2, so... I think it's really good. Like, we have our cooldowns pretty much always. B tier? Nah, dude. I, I, think, I think Fury will actually be A tier, man. High B? Nah, I, I think they, are, they, they rather are like low A than they are B. I feel like Fury is gonna be an A. Like, we have our cooldowns pretty much always. And we'll just be able to AoE smack down every pack, yeah? So, I don't, I don't know. Lack of utility? I mean, true, but the dungeons are pretty good for Fury. Warrior S tier? <laughs> Fuck no, dude. They're not S tier. Maybe for rating, but like not for, <laughs> not for M+, that's for sure. All right, I feel I feel pretty okay with putting. Ah, uh, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is B, like upper B. I feel like upper B is probably all right. Yeah, I saw I saw the list, uh, Mikey. All right, but arms then, like arms season one, we're gonna be giga blasting AOE, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so too, V. Like high B for sure. All right, for arms though, like arms is gonna get season one setback. It's gonna be Giga Giga AoE with the cleave build. We also got the buffs. I feel like more confident in putting arms in A than I put Fury in A, to be honest. I, I feel like arms in A is probably probably pretty good. Like we're gonna be Giga smacking AoE. I, I feel like that's that's accurate. Alright, but now then. I mean, every, everybody knows what's going to happen with Fire Mage, let's be honest. Like, I mean, do we even need to talk about Fire Mage? Like, Fire Mage going back to their most overpowered tier set. I think the damage is enough to put uh, arms in A. I do think so. Alright, but Fire Mage is definitely S tier. Like, let's be honest. They're going back to their most overpowered set. I, they're dead. <laughs> Right, I'm not looking forward in seeing Fire Mage in action, to be honest, next season. But, yeah. I mean, we all know that it's going to be S tier. I mean, basically the same thing is going to happen with Shadow Priest, yeah? Like, Shadow Priest... Shadow Priest, all the buffs that they've gotten, like, pretty much refer to all the nerfs. And they're going to get their most overpowered setback. I mean, that's easy S tier. Or does anyone disagree with that? Like, I, I think this, this is... Just how it's gonna be. Shadow Priest slapped in season two, and they're gonna get buffing. Yeah, yeah, they're getting buffs as well. So I mean, this this Fire Mage and Shadow Priest in S tier, that's that's just locked in. Yeah, they're buffing their overpowered tier even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know. Like it's it's absolutely crazy. All right. However, how do we feel about Og? I don't think Og is gonna be S tier next season. Unironically. Like, all the nerfs to augmentation, I mean, they're really good, because they work very well with Fire Mage and Shadow Priest. But are they actually going to be S tier? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think, I think they're going to be upper A, but I don't think S. <coughs> because of the other specs around them. Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think we can rank based on them being good around Fire Mage and Shadow Priest, right? Like, I feel like putting them in A, above arms though, that's for sure. I mean, they have utility for affixes, they have good defensives, they provide damage, but not for, but not for everyone, right? So I, f I feel like A tier is pretty, pretty good. Ock on its own is probably B tier. Yeah, I feel like too. You think Fury above Oak? Nah, dude. I mean, we could move up Fury into A tier, right? Because like they're actually pretty good, but I I don't know. I feel like uh, maybe Arms is better than Augmentation. <coughs> I I feel like this is probably good. I feel confident about it, about this, but. Now, we're gonna move on to another class. 
I don't think A Fury is realistic. Arms is probably stronger mathematically, but comp wise, Aug beats it. I don't know. Yeah, but like, mm, I, I mean, I mm, we could put we could put Fury in low A tier, right? I, I think yeah. Let, let's put Fury in low A tier. All right, know me. This this is your moment to shine. Where are we gonna rank Windwalker Monk? Did where is Windwalker going? Like, if there is a Windwalker expert, it's you. So, where where are we putting it? Ranko saying C tier? I mean, Windwalker has been really bad this entire expansion, pretty much, right? Like, they have they have had their moment in Season 1. But after that, it's been going downhill, like, enormously fast. We say Windwalker in C tier? You think B or A? What? Nah, there is no way, Mikey. Like, Windwalker has been outperformed, like, left, right, and center. I mean, B tier could possibly be, but... I mean, for the defensives, right? And, like, the poison dispel, maybe? Alright, let's let's leave it in B then, for now. Windwalker, Warrior, Rogue? I don't know, though. Like, do we really think that they're gonna be better than having a Mistweaver? I don't think so. Alright, Boomy. Mooney, this is your your time to shine. A tier? I think like I, I think this would be alright. Like they're definitely better than Augmentation and Fury. I'm not sure if they're really better than Arms Warrior though. You think above arms? I mean their defensives like they they it, it kinda sucks, no? I'm not sure if I feel comfortable putting it above arms. Yeah, it's a class cannon. I feel like Arms is going to deal pretty much the same amount of AoE as a Boomy, but just has more defensive utility, right? Fire Mage on S? Obviously. Like, Fire Mage going back to Season 2 set? It's... Uh, <laughs> All right. Next up, though. Like, how, how do we feel about BM Hunter? I mean, BM Hunter is pretty much a class cannon as well, right? I feel like BM Hunter is probably B. Because like they, they do do a lot of damage. I think I think BM does a lot of damage. They're always that, yeah. I, I feel like they're doing less of a good job at being a class cannon than Bomi, that's for sure. They do massive amounts of damage though. Are they gonna be below Windwalker though? I'm not sure if Windwalker is going to be better than than BM Hunter. That's that's the question here. I'm not uh, I'm not sure. You think above Windwalker? I mean Windwalker lives very well, right? So that's kind of why I'm I'm in debate because like Windwalker does a way better job at surviving than BM Hunter. However, BM Hunter just brings so much damage into the group. No, 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 I'm rating it on spec. On spec. Hunter is just damaged? Yeah, but so is Boomy, to be honest. Alright, uh, let's, let's leave it here for now. Let's leave it here. Alright, how do we feel about Survival Hunter, then? Because Survival Hunter is pretty much a BM Hunter, but worse. So, I think Survival is a C tier. Maybe even a D. What, what do we think? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right with the 5% physical. That's probably right. Alright, do we feel confident about Survival Hunter in C tier? You think D tier? Yeah, but realistically. Which tier is Survival Hunter getting? Uh, I think they're getting the... Um, which one was it? Uh, Wait, let me, let me scroll down a little bit. They're getting their Season 1 set. Whether Raptor Strike, Mongoose, Strike, Carve, and Butchery damage is increased by 12%. And on this one, have a 20% chance to make your next Raptor Strike, Mongoose, Bite, Carve, or Butchery cost 10 less focus and deal 40% increased damage. I think their damage is going to be a lot higher than this current season. However, are they really going to be able to beat BM Hunter? I think uh, C tier is definitely in like the bottom of the pack. I'm not sure if... I think C tier is alright. Yeah, that's true. 
Behemoth is better than Survival. Yeah, I think uh, Survival Hunter on this spot is good. How do we feel about Marksman Hunter, though? Like, I think Marksman Hunter is right up there with Survival Hunter, right? Like, Marksman Hunter is pretty much... It, it, it brings less damage than a BM Hunter. It's not really excelling at everything. Or at anything. I feel like they're just about the same as a Survival Hunter. Where's Tulsa when you need them? Yeah, actually. Above Survival? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're better than Survival Hunter. Yeah, but they're about the same though, Mikey. And I think they're about the same. I think I think this is accurate. I, I think this is alright. MM is pretty tanky nowadays. I mean, are they really? I don't think so, right? I mean, maybe because of their stat distribution, but I feel like they're about the same ranking as a survival hunter, to be honest. Alright, moving on. Which class are we doing next? Which one are we going into next? Destro Lock. I think Destro Lock is right up there with Boomy, right? Maybe a slightly above Boomy. What do we think? B tier? I think they're A tier for sure. Like, they have massive AoE outputs. They're going back to their season 1 set, right? Wait, hold on. Where's, where's Warlock? Warlock, Warlock, Warlock. There we go. Warlock, Destro. Yeah, they're going to their Season 1 set, which was actually decently good for the dungeons as well. I I, I think this is I think this is decent. Destro A tier? I think A tier is alright, yeah. No, this, this, this is alright uh, for now. I, I, I feel like Destro and A tier is good. Like, their single target damage and split damage is pretty decent. They're heavy AoE dealers. We are getting quite some heavy AoE dungeons. They're pretty tanky. Provide us combat resurrection, hellstones. I, I feel pretty confident about putting Destro in A. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Since 50 is here, we can... Yeah, Curse of Tongues is really good as well. Yeah, I, I, I feel confident about this. All right. Since 50 is here, Enhancement Shaman. Wait, where's Druff? Is Druff here? 50, what are you saying? What, what do you think about Enhancement Shaman? I feel like they're gonna be C tier. They do not have the proper defensives. Their damage is very mediocre. What is an Enhancement Shaman? I, I don't know. Like, Enhancement really has not had their best tier this season. Druff, what do you think? You are the professional Enhancement Shaman here. What do you think? F for floor puff? <laughs> True, actually. What do you think? Um, I, I see a lot of F. Oh no. Oh no. Are they gonna be F tier? Surely they're gonna be a bit better next season around. B minus? You feel confident about putting them in the same group as Windwalker and MBM Hunter, but above Marksman and Survival? <laughs> now, do, do you actually think that they're, uh, that they're gonna be better than them marksmen and survivals. True, actually. In Knockout, we're gonna need that perch, which is really, really strong. And they provide a the bloodlust. They have Ankh for when they die to like one of the billion mechanics that kills them. <laughs> I think I think low B is probably a good place for um, for enhancement shaman. Make a tier below, F tier for this garbage, please. Oh, uh, no. Vengeance Demon Hunter. Alright. I mean, I think we can all agree that Vengeance Demon Hunter is going to be S tier, right? Like, the way that they are able to, to play around packs, like the immense utility that they have, I, I mean, like, there's no way around it. Like, if anyone claims anything different than Vengeance Demon Hunter being S tier, I don't know. Pro Paladin's coming back. True. But is Pro Paladin gonna be better than some of the other options? That's the question. But let's let's first do some more DPS classes, boys. What do we feel about Frostmage? Frostmage has not really been shining. I think I think they're upper B. What what do we think? B tier? 
Yeah, I feel like upper B is probably alright. Like, they have some AoE damage. They're decently survivable. But they're not really excelling at any point, right? Like, whenever there's one target that needs to die fast, they excel. But I don't feel like they're that good. That is true. They do bring a lot. I think lower A tier, probably. That, that's a very good argument, Mikey. Low A. Yeah, I, I, think, I think low A. They also provide some utility for the tank to kite, right? With, like, their, with their slows and everything. I, I feel confident about this. Yes. Ellie Shaman. Alright, do we have any Ellie Shamans in the chat? Or did they all, like, wait for the war within? <laughs> I mean... I'm not really too sure about putting Ellie below Enhancement Shaman, to be honest. Yeah, where's Pablo when you need him? Like, do we feel confident enough to put Enhancement Shaman above Ellie Shaman? I, I think there's C tier for sure. Solid B? Do you actually think that Ellie is better than Enhancement Shaman? The draft? I don't think they're that good, though. Like, I mean, their AoE damage is, is not amazing. Like, their single target isn't really amazing. I mean, their proc stuff, yeah, mm, maybe. Alright. Uncapped AoE, so basically better. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's alright. This is alright. I think we can live with this. Alright, Red Paladin. How do we feel about Red for next season? <coughs> I feel like Red is a solid A. I mean, they're definitely ahead of some of the other class. I think it's probably right up there with Arms Warrior, right? I think I think this is good. Like, Red Paladin has good AoE. They're survivable, bring a lot of a utility. I think they're probably better than Arms, actually. I think they're a solid A tier. Like, they provide a lot for the group in the form of Bob, Freedom. Like, uh, they have um, their bubble, Poison Dispel. Just solid AoE and single target damage. And yeah, it fits in a lot of comps as well. I agree. Yeah, that, that is true though. Like, it depends on how good Prod is gonna be. I'm not sure about that. Does it not depend if the Lego is still viable though? I mean, the Lego is gonna be viable. But I don't think it will be enough to push them in S tier. Alright. Moving on. I think we need to do one of the one of the rogue classes, right? We need to do one of the rogue classes. Okay, but how do we feel about sub rogue? Like sub rogue has been performing good in the current season, not as good as outlaw though. How, how do we feel about rogue? A tier, it's a rogue. Yeah, but how good of an A tier is it gonna be? Is it gonna be above Destro Lock and Bunkin? High B? I, I feel like they're probably going to be high B. Or A. I don't see them being S tier. I, I think mid, mid A tier is probably a good representation. I mean, we also got to be mindful, right? Because... No, I, I, I think compared to the other classes, it's going to be a high B tier. <laughs> Kush is going to stream right now. No, 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 no. no. I, I think Outlaw is going to be better. Realistically. Brings a lot. Yeah, but not... I, I don't think it's as good as like what, what you would see in, in like an Outlaw Rogue. As comparison. I think like an Outlaw Rogue is definitely gonna be... Definitely gonna be an A tier. I, I feel like this is a good representation. Like we have Outlaw in A tier. And sub with Assassination Rogue in B tier. I mean, like, look at the dungeons that we're gonna get, right? Like, where does Sub Rogue actually excel over Outlaw Rogue? That is my question. Because we're gonna see a lot of packs being... playing towards that Outlaw Rogue target cap again. The only dungeons... or the only dungeon I see Sub really excelling in is... is Brackenite. SSC tier? I think they're better than than Enhancement and Ellie, but definitely not better than BM and um, and Windwalker. I, I feel like this is going to be accurate. You think it's going to be higher? As I slapped on? 
I mean, do you really think that SR Rogue is going to be better than than a Sub Rogue, though? That's the question. AoE slice every opener and DR? Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be as good as uh, Sub Rogue. I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. Next up, Prot Warrior. I mean, Prot Warrior is getting their best best setback, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I have played Prot Warrior in Season 1. I did think that it was pretty good, but I do think that it's going to be a B-tier tank. I mean, it just doesn't provide enough compared to the other tanks to where I would say that it's a really good tank. I think I'm, uh, I'm confident with putting him in B-tier, to be honest. I feel like that's a good representation. Alright, moving on. Demo Lock. What do we feel about Demo Lock? I mean, Demo is pretty much the same as a Destro Lock, right? But do we have anyone who's play who plays Demo Lock? I think A for Demo. Yeah, but they're definitely gonna be ahead of um, of Destro Lock, right? Ask Shella. <laughs> yeah, let me just quickly ask Shella. <laughs> I think they're gonna be ahead of uh, of Destro Lock. I feel like A tier is probably pretty good. A tier seems uh, seems solid for uh, demo lock. I think that's all right. Okay, next up. How do we feel about Frost Decay? I mean, Frost has had a terrible tier, right? Where where do we put Frost Decay? Like, I I I'm not gonna claim that I know a lot about about Frost Decay, but I feel like they have been like underperforming like everywhere. <laughs> All right, I, I see not a whole lot of people are too much uh, too fond of uh, Frosty K. B plus, drop. What are you smoking, dude? Frost will be bis in Nokut. I think it's it's right up the alley with B, uh, with Survival Hunter and Marksman. To be honest, I think it's C tier for sure. Like. I don't see how Frosty K is gonna be very viable in high keys. Maybe even D tier, yeah. I I, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like C tier is alright. Thrust Frost gonna be strong? No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Feral Druid. I mean Let's be honest here. Feral has been performing very bad the entire season. Where do, where do we put Feral? But you guys are all saying B tier for like everything, yeah? Like there's no shot. There's no shot that Feral is gonna be is gonna be that good. Low B? I, I would I would put them in C tier, like as the best. Like I don't see how Feral is gonna be way better than Marksman and Survival Hunter. Alright, so high C tier then. Jeff the Lulu? <laughs> Maybe. Alright, high C tier. I think I think for high C tier is alright. Let's say it high high C tier. Warrior S plus plus. Rest is garbage F. No 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 no. Alright, I, I feel like I feel this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Havoc Demon Hunter. I mean realistically, Havoc is decently good. However, they're not going to see any gameplay because we're going to see so many Vengeance Demon Hunters, right? I feel like they're right up there with like Outlaw Rogue, Warriors, Red Paladins. I, I feel like this is pretty good. Yeah, if it had more defensive tools in its kit to, to survive, then I would put this in S tier for sure. But since they are pretty squishy, I feel like A tier is probably good. <laughs> you have thoughts about Havoc, but you won't. Uh, I see. Yeah, if PDH didn't exist, it would be S tier. That's for sure. All right, moving on. Unholy DK. I feel Unholy DK is actually being slapped upon. I feel like it's actually pretty good. I feel it could work. It's just that it doesn't really work well in too many comps. Yeah, okay, so we need to think, like, right? They don't deal any damage outside of their CDs. What dungeons are we gonna get? And how much is it revolved around chaining? In Knockwood, they're not gonna be good. That's that's for sure, because it's too many pulls. 
Ruby Life Pools. I mean, that first pool, they're really going to obliterate it. But I, I think they're going to be B tier. High B, but not better than Sub Rogue. I, 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 think, it, I think below Sub Rogue is probably good. I think this is all right. They're definitely better than Frosty Case, but not as good. Yeah, yeah, I feel like B is, is fine. Affliction Warlock. I mean... I mean, let's be honest. Affliction Warlock. It has been pretty bad the entire entire season. And, and I mean, the entire expansion, pretty much. I don't see how it's gonna be better than Destro Lock or Demo Lock. This, this is just a D tier, yeah? I, I don't see how F Lock is magically gonna rise up. It was played in Season 1 MDI, but that's only because it did so much damage in certain dungeons. But it's not realistic for any actual M plus scenario. I don't feel like, at least. I, I don't feel it's gonna be good enough. So I, I'm feeling confident with D tier. How do we feel about Holy Priest, though? What do we feel about Holy? I feel Holy has been pretty much neglected for pretty much the entirety of the uh, of the tier as well. I mean, Disc has just been better in every turn. You think D tier? Yeah, they did get some nice uh, some nice talent changes. That makes me think like maybe they're actually gonna rise up a little bit. I think I think C tier for now is probably all right. I mean, they did get some changes, but I don't think it's gonna be enough for them to to bump them up to that B tier. I don't think so. <laughs> Renko the the Holy Priest hater. All right, moving on then. I mean, let's be honest. Mist Weaver is probably at the moment one of the best healers in the game. Yeah, even after the nerfs, like they're still just so far ahead of everything else. However, they did get the nerf, but they're gonna get a buff as well on their tier set, and they're gonna get some new talents, which bumps up their damage even more. What do we think about Mist Weaver? Do we think we can safely put him in S tier? Is it gonna be high A or low S? I think high A is probably more realistic. Like, I'm not really sure if I want to put this in, in like, S tier or not. I think S tier is actually, yeah, I think we put it in S tier. I think, I think we put Miss Weaver in S tier. Like, Miss Weaver is still just very good. They're, get, they're getting some new talents, which is going to buff their damage. They're getting some tuning on their tier set, which also helps them. I think this is, I think this is all right. Yeah, I, I do feel like the the Miss Weaver is gonna is gonna perform once again. All right, we got Devastation Evoker. I mean, I think Devastation Evoker hasn't really been in a good spot ever since Augmentation came out, because like if you take an Evoker, you take an Augmentation. Which makes me think that they're probably going to be a C tier once again this season. Like, they just don't really provide enough for you to be willing to take a Devastation Evoker, right? Like, there's not enough good scenarios for them to really shine. I think, I think they're going to be high C tier. Just because they're not going to be played. Like, you cannot really play Devo. Alright, alright, alright. Brewmaster Tanks. Oh, Murderim is gonna absolutely hate me for this. But I think I think Brewmaster is gonna be D. I, I I really think that this expansion is just not meant to be for Brewmasters. Brew might be better next season? Do you really think so? I don't think it's gonna be good enough though. Like they, they really need some help. Like right now they're their damage is good, but they just don't live anything. Like, they have they have a lot of damage, but they just don't live. And they need so much help in order to survive. I, I don't think we're going to see a lot of Brewmasters. <coughs> Especially considering how good Mistweaver is. 
I, I don't think we will see any brewmasters pretty much at all. Yeah, I don't think they stand a chance. You're right. All right. Moving on, Pro Paladin. I think Pro Paladin is a solid A tier, yeah? Like, let's be honest, they're getting their really good tier set back. I don't think they're quite as good as Avengers Demon Hunter, but I do think that they're a very solid A tier. Like, they provide utility, they provide a combat res, poison dispel, bob, freedom. I, I, I do think that that Pro Paladin is a, is a good class. I, I feel like a, a high A tier is probably... Probably a good representation. Off healing is also very good. Uh, yeah, you're right. And especially in the dungeons that we're going to be playing, I feel like that's that's really true. All right. How do you feel about Arcane Mage? I think Arcane Mage is being slapped upon, but it's definitely not as good as what we see with like Frost Mages and Fire Mages. I think it's right up there, right with like the B tier. Maybe maybe C tier actually even. I just don't think that they are good enough. Like they they provide the utility from from mages, but yeah, I feel like high C tier is probably probably accurate. Arcane is stronger than Frost. I don't think I agree with you on that one. I think it's either low B or High C. I think low B is probably better. Yeah, I, I think I think low B for uh, for frost or uh, for arcane mage. Like they're just not as good as a fire mage. That's obvious. They're not as good as a frost mage either. I think they would fit in this kind of category with like classes that you don't really play too often, but they can be good if played properly. I, I think uh, I think low B is probably alright. All right, moving on. Blood Decay. I think Blood Decay is pretty much at the same, the same state as a Prot Warrior. Like they're gonna do damage and they're gonna be all right. They provide that combat res. I I just don't think they're gonna be good enough, right? I think Prot Warrior is probably gonna be better than Blood. They just flop over, yeah, but they do have some tech with like, in Knockhood, for example, with the haste buff, like uh, making one of those thingies your minion. One of those birds. And they do pretty good with bleeds as well. I have a combat res. I don't know. I, I, I feel like Prot Warrior is going to be better than Blood Decay. But I think B tier is alright. I think B tier is alright for... Um, for uh, Blood Decay. Yeah, you're right, B. I, I think this is alright. Guardian Druid. I think Guardian Druid is going to be A tier. Right up there with Prop Paladin. I think these two classes are pretty much equal for next season. I feel like Prop Paladin and Guardian Druid are both gonna shine if you're not gonna be playing like the the meta comp with like full uh, magical, right? I think if you play with a Guardian Druid, a Mistweaver, two Rogues, and a Warrior, that's gonna be like insanely good. Because it's just like a full full physical buff comp. So I, I'm I'm pretty confident on putting them right up here with Prop Paladin in the higher A tier. I I, I think um, I think this is alright. Could you just get randomly slapped by five mobs though? I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like this is alright. I feel like Guardian Druid, even though they got nerfed, they are gonna be very good for the Dragonfly dungeons. Not as good as Avengers Demon Hunter, maybe, but they're definitely going to be up there. They're playable. Oh, that's still about Blood Decay. Ah, I see. I mean, it's the same for Guardian Druid, right? Like, whenever you're outside of Incarn, like, you're not as tanky, but... I think you can really easily play around um, a Guardian Druid. Yeah, that's why I think that Pro Paladin is going to be better than Guardian Druid. Alright, how do we feel about Resto Druid? I feel like Resto Druid is right up there with Miss Weaver Monk, to be honest, in the S tier. I feel both of these classes are are like insanely good at the moment. You think A tier? I, I think S tier is actually deserved for Resto Druid. Like they provide a lot for the group. 
Especially whenever you're not playing with a Guardian Druid or like a Prop Paladin or a Retribution Paladin. I think low S tier is probably good. Like they have a very good, very good DPS output. I think their healing profile fits for the Dragonflight dungeons that we're going to see. Like a lot of the damage that we're getting in the next uh, next season is going to be around like damage over time, right? So I do think that this is a good solid place for them. <coughs> Preservation Evoker. I mean, once again, the same issue, right? Like as we've seen with with Devastation, I don't I don't feel like they're going to see any gameplay because of augmentation. I think. I think they're going to be right up there with Holy Priest in the C tier. I don't think they're going to be as good. I actually like the uh, Preservation Evokers, but I just don't think that they're going to make it next season. I don't think it. I don't think they're good enough. Uh, exactly. It's just the way that their healing works with you having to like concentrate all your healing in like a frontal cone. It, it, it just doesn't work too well, especially with the Dragonfly dungeons that we're going to get. Like, just think about about the dungeons that we're going to get and the healing profile required for it. I don't think Preservation Evoker is too good of a choice for it. Yeah. No, I agree. Uh, let's move on to Resto Shaman. I actually think that Resto Shaman is going to be in the A tier next season. Resto Shaman is really being slapped on. Like, they have been performing quite well. If, in the proper hands, you can really shine as a resto. Mana issues? Yeah, but that will go away if you play with a Guardian Druid, right? But that Innervate? I feel like the, I feel like they're definitely, definitely able to be low A tier. I believe in Resto Shamans. I actually think they're, they're going to be quite alright. I'm confident about putting them in lower A. Their damage profile is good. Their healing profile is good for the dungeons that we're gonna get. You're waiting for Pablo Simo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Moving on to Holy Paladin. I mean, Holy Paladin has been gutted, right? I think they're gonna gain some of their power back. In next season. But I think they're gonna be a B tier. B tier healer. You think low S or A? Nah, dude. Like, they got all their stuff reworked. Like, they're, they're nothing alike from Season 2. They are going to get some strength back with, like, their tier set, but... Yeah, but they, they have been changed, like, so drastically. I, I don't feel like Holy Paladin is going to be good enough. I, I don't think so. I think B tier is probably alright. High B? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident with putting them high B. I don't think they're as good as other healers, though. I, I, f I feel like they're better than Holy Priest and Preservation, for sure. I don't feel like they're better than Shamans. Alright, last on the list, Disco Priest. I mean, I feel like Disco Priest, high A tier. You think Preservation is A tier? Alright, I, I think middle of the pack A tier, right? Middle of the pack A tier is probably a good spot for uh, for Disco Priest. Yeah, do you think that Preservation is going to be better than Holy Paladin? I don't see them being as good as a Resto Shaman, though. I mean, I'm confident in putting them in B tier, but that's that's about it. I think they're worse than than Holy Paladins and Resto Shamans, though. I think, I think if you look at it like this, I think it's quite alright. With Preservation Evoker being higher than Holy Priest, lower than Holy Paladin. Brew is higher? Do you really think that Brew is gonna is gonna be able to perform in C tier? I mean to be honest, like Brew has has some has some good damage, right? Like if you can play around the survivability, I think they're alright. Like, yeah, okay. I feel like C tier is probably gonna be alright for Brew. All right, boys, are we happy with the tier list? Yeah, true. You're, you're making a good point, Ruff. You're not happy, Smooth? What would you change then? 
I, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Like the the S tier makes sense. I feel like everything in the A tier belongs in the A tier. B tier looks. I think B tier also looks pretty solid. C tier. I'm I'm not too sure about Feral Druid. I think Feral could also be B tier, but I think higher C makes more sense. And Affliction, yeah, I'm I'm sorry, but Affliction, I just don't think it's gonna work. You think Frosty Case should be higher? I think we could put them in the lower B section. Because I do think you make a solid point. Like, the survivability is good. I just, I just don't think that they're going to be shining, to be honest. No, Windwalker will not do better. Windwalker will definitely not do better. Yeah, I'm happy I'm happy with this, uh, with this setup. All right, boys. I'm very happy with the tier list that we made with the chat. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you think that this is going to be the list that we're going to use in Season 4 or not. Leave your opinions down below. As always, make sure to like the video and see you guys in the next one.